When it comes to fitness tracking, Wear OS might not be your first choice, but it is more than capable of being your secondary device if you forget your main one or it runs out of battery. So these are my top five favorite apps for fitness tracking on Wear OS. Before I start, let's go outside. So let's start with the app that's built into all Wear OS devices, that is Google Fit. Google Fit gives you this breakdown of your day in steps and hard points. Hard points being high intensity activities and steps being just walking around. You can see I haven't been walking around today much. By the time we're done with this video, there should be some hard points appearing there. There's also Fit Heart Rate as part of Google Fit, which shows you your average heart rate throughout the day which is great for a quick reference but you can see it's not very detailed it also includes fit workout app that is also built into fit also includes pretty much every sport you can think of so walking running biking treadmill you go to other workouts and it will list basically everything you can think of but you get very basic tracking so you get your GPS connected to your phone if it's nearby and if it's not available, it will use the watch's GPS. Here you can see my live heart rate. You can also see the zone it's in. It says orange. So yeah, that's pretty much the Fit app. It doesn't give you any more information other than the heart rate and calories while you're running. Although if you don't want the hassle of downloading anything outside of Google, it's a good built-in alternative. The second app we're going to look at today is Lifesum. So with Lifesum, you just have to set up your account using your phone first. Just click on Get Started. Set your goals. Just press back and you're good to go. And now you can log into your watch. And there we go. Now you can track how many glasses of water you drank, the calories left to be eaten or burnt, and then minutes of activity per day. Very simple app and uh, it helps you keep your uh, fitness in check and general health as well. You can just heat these plus one glass, water added, and there you go. Now number three is my personal favorite when I'm doing touring on my bike or doing long trips or hiking where I'm not going to be having my data on my phone because of either low network or just patchy internet service in the area. In that case, we need to use Kamut. Now on the watch itself, the Kamut app looks something like this. You have the planned tours. So there you go. You can start any of them or you can record a tour and just start doing it. So this is your average workout app like Strava, which has, by the way, been removed from Wear OS 2 and is only available on Wear OS 3. But you can do the planned tours, plan out the, um, the ride or a hike on your phone or your PC. Then you save it and you can execute it with your watch and then you can use the directions to, to just click on that one. Yep, navigate to start. And you can see right now I'm on this road and distance so and so and I can pause and uh, continue as I need to. I just hit press and hit this button to finish my navigation. Finish and save. That's Kamut. Now number two, let's look at activity tracker. Now full disclosure, the developer did reach out to me and provided me with a pro version for free but it does not impact in any way the direction of this review or the material. Just letting you guys know before I go through the app. Activity Tracker also comes with a phone companion app as well so you can see I've done 325 steps today, uh, 15 calories and I can see my trends. I have been using this app for about a month, you can see there is a lot of data here and you can see the analytics. All of this has been tracked by using just my phone or my watch or just combined data from both. And it's a pretty straightforward app if you don't care about manually starting and stopping your activities. So the weekly progress screen is actually locked behind the pro version, but you can still use your daily step counting running, walking, all that automatically without manually triggering anything. So it gives you good insight and targets for your fitness. And there's also the watch app, of course, which this video is about. So if you just go to activity tracker, it's pretty minimal. It shows you the steps and it takes a while to refresh. Sometimes you can see it only shows 10 steps, although you just saw my phone had 300. So it takes a while to sync and then once synced, you should be able to see your calories, your distance, and your number of steps, and active time, and all the historical data, if you have the pro version. All right, so my favorite fitness tracking app on Wear OS right now is Ghost Racer. 
it lets you use your watch standalone from your phone or connect to your phone for GPS depending on what you need so it gives you a lot of flexibility you can see it quickly shows you the GPS quality if you swipe left you should see right now we're in standalone mode you can set the activity to cycling or running you can also select the screen to be ambient, dim or off you can actually pair Bluetooth sensors such as cadence heart rate, temperature, barometer and yeah so you can set up pretty much all of the basic sensors without needing your smartphone which is pretty cool there's also support for offline maps which you can download it's just good for like tracking your activities you just hit the play button and boom you start your activity you can see your running pace you can see your distance you can also see start finish and your heart rate live right here also it has support for syncing with Strava automatically so once your activity is done it auto uploads to Strava without having to go through the Strava app itself which as I said is not available on Wear OS as of this moment there you have it guys that's my favorite apps for fitness tracking on Wear OS as of 2022 if you have any questions or comments let me know down below. If you have a favorite app that is not in this list, let me know as well. Thanks very much for watching. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. Check out my other videos right up here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.